in the first installment of the three-part BBC drama. Viewers learned that Rachel's, played by Anna Chancellor, adoptive son Jack, Anthony Boyle, had been wrongly convicted of her murder and her D in prison. His alibi Dr. Calgary, Luke Treadaway, arrives at the family home on the weekend that her Widow Leo, Bill Nye, is set to remarry to deliver the shocking news. Leo and his other adoptive children, Mickey, Mary, Eleanor Tomlinson, Tina, Crystal Clark, and Hester, Ella Purnell, are now all fearful that Rachel's realer is amongst them. But as they try to work out the identity of the real culprit, Mickey star Christian has revealed a shocking detail about his character. What you discover is that he has a lot of pain. The actor noted. My prerequisite for director Sandra Goldbaker was that I was going to do what I wanted to and not be shoehorned. Into whatever they'd done already. He went on to reveal that led him to burn his arm with a cigarette. It actually burned me a bit, he confessed. It was on a fake scar. So I thought I was a bit protected. I just thought, fuck it. I'll see if I can get that in. The 30-year-old from Leeds also opened up about replacing Ed Westwick in the Agatha Christie drama. Ed was dropped from the show following abuse allegations. All of which he denies. If it wasn't me it would have been another actor, Christian told the Evening Standard. If I shot my movie and found out I couldn't put it out, it's F King soul destroying. Christian's comments come after it was revealed. The ending has been changed, and fans are not happy. Writer Sarah Phelps recently addressed the uproar from fans about her decision to change the culprit's identity. I've taken some very clear and quite big liberties with the story of the novel. But I think I've presented the spirit of the novel, she explained. I wanted to write something that you think is familiar but it isn't. They've got to feel like they live. And they've got blood pulsing through their veins. And like they've got something to say. She went on to tell Digital Spy some fans have even contacted her directly regarding.